This is the best defense in Madden 23. It gets instant sacks. Lots of takeaways. And shuts down any run play. No. Inside or out. If you want to see what rage quit inducing defense I'm using, see ya. That holds the best quarterback in the game to a stat line like this. As well as the best offense to use against it, stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys a defense from my new multi D defensive ebook I just put out. Links in the description to download if you guys want to check that out. This defense is so good, it's the reason I made the ebook in the first place because the multi D playbook might be my new favorite defense to use. Let me know in the comments section which defense you guys want me to use going forward, whether you want me to use my Dolphins or my multi D defense. And please hit the like button to be a subscriber if you want me to continue to make defensive gameplay videos like this. The defense I'm going to show you today was first ran against me in a previous gameplay I put out about a week ago and I said in that video that it shut down almost my entire offense except one overpowered run play that I used to counter it. I will have a link in the description for that video if you want to see that play but I'm also going to show you a good offense to use to counter defenses like this. In this game we start on offense and once again I'm using the exact same gun stack Y flex offense. I've put out several videos about this offense in the past so I will have links in the description for all that but today I'm going to add some new plays to focus on some man beating concepts that are found in this formation that I just discovered that are also really good. On his next play, I see he brings his safety down, which a lot of people feel like they can do whenever they run man, but if you're going to do that against me and give me a one-on-one, -on -one, I'm going to take it. Break yourself, fool! You got moss! I have faith that I'm either going to moss you or at least break up the pass, so we take a quick lead. I'm going to be using two defenses today, but the new defense I'm going to show you guys is out of the dime normal, and the play is called the DB Blitz Zero. You can use this defense against anything, but I like to call it the best against gun formations because I really find it's best for that. But you'll see me use it against a lot of different things in the video. To set this play up, first you want to pinch the D-line, which is D-pad to the left and D-pad down or down on the left stick. This completely removes any inside run lanes for your opponent, and even though you are in a dime package, you won't have to worry about getting weak box because you do have four down defensive rushing linemen. The next step is to slant the defensive line outside, which is deep pad left again, then up on the right stick. This is more for the pass rush as you want the ends keeping the left tackle and right tackle busy for the blitzing cornerbacks. The blitzing cornerbacks will also stop any outside runs as well and shoot the gaps when it comes to inside runs, which you will see later in this video. The next step is to blitz your user middle linebacker and bring him down over the center or guard gap pre-snap. You can substitute this linebacker for a safety if you want a faster, better coverage guy but substituting them for safety a lot of times can reduce your user ability on run defense. So at this point in the game, I left my linebacker in the game until I know how my opponent likes to play. You're only going to hover this gap pre-snap, then once the play starts, you're going to drop back into coverage like you normally do. If the running back goes out on a route, you got to follow him, but if he doesn't, you can drop back to the middle of the field. The rest of this setup is optional. You can guess pass if you expect a pass, which is RBR1 up on the right stick. Doing this will make these cornerbacks forego any play action fakes and go right for the quarterback, which is going to make you have a much better pass rush. But if you guess wrong, your run defense will be slower and more easily blocked. I also find it's best to press the defense as the blitzing angle of the cornerbacks is better. On this first play, he hikes it before I can get the full setup in and the blitz still works instantly. On the next play, you can see I get the full setup in with the press and everything, and I think this is a much better version, but the results are the same. <laughs> as we get an instant sack. You can see my opponent is even blocking seven guys, including the tight end and running back, while I'm only sending six, and I still get the instant sack. I force my opponent into a third and 29 with two sacks on the first two plays. Then I see his next formation as a goal line. <laughs> I'm guessing he thinks he can weak box me, so I switch over to the only other defense I'm going to call today, and that's my 3-4 odd cover four quarters. This is easily the best run defense in the entire game. It stops just about anything. I'm not going to go over this defense setup, though, because I already have a full breakdown video of this particular defense, and I'll have a link in the description for anybody who wants to watch it. I highly recommend it. As you can see, my opponent gets almost nothing on the first carry. My opponent already looks like he's going to quit as he is going for it on fourth and a mile, coming out this time in an empty backfield and making audibles like he's Peyton Manning. I don't know what audibles he could be making to get 28 yards because he knows I'm sending six and he has no additional blocking options. 
That was very predictable. My next game is against maybe the best quarterback and maybe the best team in the entire game. And I'm going to run the exact same offense and the exact same defense. Starting with the running back to the flats, which is always open against any man or zone. On the next play, he is clearly looking for that with his user. So I'm going to try the other side to the speed out route, which typically beats man as well. But Tredavious White is just built different. No! As he gets up and he almost takes it back for a pick six. For crying out loud, that's insane. Somebody tackle him. He starts off in a single back look, so I come out in my run defense again to shut that down. Sit your ass down. Then he comes out in a shotgun look, so I go back to my dime. I'm not sure if he audible, but this is a very strong run defense that I have no concern using in this situation. Then on third down, we get instant pressure. Woo! He goes for it on fourth and six, and I noticed the safety was giving up inside leverage pre-snap, but I didn't have time to align him, and he beats me with a quick throw, throwing a six-yard completion for a touchdown. Remember those numbers, because that is the only pass he is going to complete this entire game. Back on offense, I noticed he is using other Man Zero Blitz plays as well, just from different packages. So this game is really going to come down to who has the better Man Zero Blitz, which is really what Madden 23 Online is right now. On the next play, I just wanted to go to the zig route, but I'm not throwing to a lit up Tredavis White again. Nope. I start making some adjustments, blocking the tight end, and you can see it is picking up the blitzes he is running pretty easily compared to mine. In the gun stack, you just have to motion the tight end in, and on the next play, we moss a lit up Tredavious White, knocking him out of the zone. One of the new man plays that I'm running from this gun stack offense is the bench pivot. Both the tight end and the wide triangle route are instant man beaters, and the user can't cover them both, so just throw to whichever one he isn't usering. Inside the red zone, though, I feel like it's Groundhog's Day. <laughs> as we get sacked or pressured on three straight plays and just have to end up taking a field goal. Back on defense, if I see single back, I'm going to come out and cover for a run defense. Get over here! If I see shotgun, I'm going to come out my dime normal pass defense. It's really that easy, and my opponent is going nowhere with neither. It's a really simple system. On fourth and ten, he's going for it once again, forces a throw, Got him. and we're going the other way. He has now completed as many touchdown passes to me as he has to his own team. On the next series, he tries to start running the ball and has the biggest play of the game so far. And even though he comes out in a shotgun play the next play, I come out my run defense trying to defend that yard and he barely gets it. Next play, I break the rules of my system and once again use the dime normal against his single back deuce close. And despite my size disadvantage, it still shuts down the run play as I meet the running back at the line of scrimmage. He only gets a few yards based off of the fact that he falls forward over a smaller defender. Next play, he goes empty backfield and tries to hit me with double drags, which is another very common concept people use against man. Gotcha, bitch! And we're all over that with a nasty user look that I didn't even get credit for. Wait a minute! On offense though, he starts knocking me back and I really would just be happy with a field goal since he isn't moving the ball against my defense at all. So I take the check down, get a few yards and nail a field goal only to see he roughed my kicker giving me second life. I make a few quick completions and I get a little too overconfident trying to milk the play clock Oops. and end up having to take a field goal with only two seconds left. Back on defense, he starts running the ball to no effect, and now that he has me in my run defense, he tries to switch it up and pass, but even this defense leaves nothing open as Fletcher Cox gets a shed and gets a sack. Next play, I learned my lesson from not man aligning the last time, so I make sure to get this safety in position this time, and on the very next play, gotcha, bitch. it pays off in a big way as we get another interception. On offense, we were thinking field goal to take a nine point lead and end this game. We go back to the bench pivot one more time for a big catch and run. Hey! The corner strike on the next play, which is a play I went over in a previous video, has a very easy one play touchdown right here if I would have been looking at him, but I was already looking at the tight end. Yeah. The levels is another good play from this formation that is really like a delayed drag route, and it really just gives your opponent something else to think about because this entire offense is really about, you know, moving all over the formation. The next play, I motion in the tight end, hoping he thinks I'm making my run adjustment. But I leave him on the route, and luckily he gets in front of the hard flat adjustment my opponent made just enough so that I can get this throw outside. Otherwise, it would have been an interception. Instead, we are going for a touchdown, and my opponent is out before the score even updates. Before he leaves, though, we do get a look at his stats. And with the best quarterback in the game, he only completed one pass for six yards. His run game was equally abysmal as he ran nine times for 18 yards. In total, if you deduct all the sacks in the game, he definitely lost more yards than he gained. So that's that's the vid. If you guys want to see more gameplays like this, be sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button. Other than that, if you guys want to see the cover four quarters defense that I was running throughout this game, I have a video popping up on screen right now. So make sure to check that out. I guarantee it's worth it. And that's it. Thanks for watching. That might shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.